stop this. Jesus fucking Christ. Who put this in my video? How else am I supposed to keep my image and retain my Christian viewers now? <laughs> bam, 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 bam. It's Mr. Dancer and his magic mask. Bum, bum. It's Mr. Dancer and his magic mask again today, and I have a new movie for you guys. This time, though, I think I'm going to try doing a half effort review of it instead, because if I did react to it, it might look like something like this. What? <sighs> Okay, yeah, I might be getting a little bit of Haha <laughs> jokes. That would never happen, because I'm a true degenerate and I would go way further. But exactly what is this film, you might be wondering? It's not by the great underground director of Japan, Akira Kurosawa. This is The Transgressor, or AKA School of the Holy Beast. So without further ado, let's try to work this fucking film. Wham! Uh... What exactly was that supposed to The transgressor is about a woman who's decided to go to a nunnery, or what they call an abbey in this film. But more importantly... Hi, Round Briss. The woman is portrayed by Yumi Takigawa. Unfortunately, the only thing I know about Yumi, to be honest, is not even a good thing. All I have is a grudge against her for stealing Scorpion Girl's role from Mako. <laughs> The nunnery she ends up going to is like a pretty strict nunnery, but all the nuns there are like sinners. So there's like gluttony, there's like alcohol, there's like smoking, there's also lesbianism, there's also pornography, and some wild violence. I agree, my fellow Christians, these are some vile crimes. But more importantly, sweet sheened breasts. But the nunnery is still a super cruel nunnery, so the punishments in there get pretty bizarre. But more importantly, Arcadian breasts. Yumi's character's name is Maya, and she realizes there's like the secret in this nunnery about her like family. Bored now. But more importantly, milk white breasts. Okay, okay, I have to stop role-playing Chip Lambert. What you end up getting in this film is this really interesting sort of push and pull throughout the whole thing. And when I mean thing, I'm saying thing in a really, like, broad way. Because everything about the film is very push and pull. So I'm talking about style, I'm talking about the characters, I'm talking about the colors, I'm talking about the themes. And that's probably what makes this film most interesting. I guess the question is, is there anything I can show you guys right now to make you want to watch the film that won't get censored? Well, there is this pretty sick motorcycle here. There's also this white cat. And an action scene. But yes, this is a Penku film. So if you're not looking for something with any nudity, this is probably not the film for you. So let's talk about why this film is actually pretty good. First of all, you have to start with the nuns. Yes, I can mean that in a perverted way. So if you have a fetish for nuns, this movie is literally for you. I mean seriously no judgment, because some of the greatest iconic characters are nuns. And then we have some great nuns from the movie world, like this one, and 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 this one. But. There's also some interesting advantages about nuns that I didn't really expect. First of all, I'm not too much a huge fan of like Japanese acting in general. It's actually very rare for me to really enjoy Japanese acting. There's a little bit too much like melodrama in it or emotional manipulation. I'm not really sure what it is, but it just doesn't feel too natural for me. However, with these nun costumes, it's pretty cool how the nun costume sort of squares their faces so you can get a really clear picture of a type of emotional acting and i really really thought that was very underappreciated and very very cool <laughs> oh shit did i forget to tell you yeah there are male nuns 
Actually, the more I think about it, maybe Cassavetes should have used nuns in his faces. It would have even got his point out stronger. Another thing that caught my eye is editing this film. It's actually like really, really good. And it's not because there's like one type of editing that I really liked. I think it's like the juxtaposition between two types. Right from the beginning of the film, you see how this movie's not afraid to like use really interesting editing. Uh, there's sideway cuts, random jump cuts, uh, fast moving cuts, all just in the opening credits. And that's like really cool. All the shots you're seeing right now are literally just from the opening scene. Since the movie started out like this, I was actually expecting a film kind of like throw away your books and let's rally in the streets just with a little less plot. I was actually really excited because I love that film too. <laughs> But very quickly, the shots become way less spastic and actually become very still. They become very focused. The shots become static and symmetrical. It becomes orderly. When you put those shots side by side together, then it like really stands out. I mean, to pick something about this film that's exceptional could be considered a little weird because it is a pink film. It is a cult film no matter how much you spin it. But the way this film balances its experimental editing and its like standard editing is top-notch shit. One of my favorite scenes is about to come up, which is basically going to the example of literally how this film puts both of these types of editing side by side. <laughs> As you can see, this last part got extremely symmetrical. I think this is basically kind of the push and pull style that I'm talking about that I really fell in love with in this film. Another good example of this is the coloring in this film. Obviously, one of the most significant colors is the black and white juxtaposition. That reminds me of being in tie by a Heidegger. Look, the pages are black and white too, as you can see. Wow, I can't believe Martin Heiger managed to stylistically influence a film. But it shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that black and white is super important in this film. Nuns wear black and white. Even the film tells you about it, and this is their description about black and white and what it means. But that's not just why the colors are cool in this film. The film is actually super colorful. Since black and white is a little bit of a bland color, it's paired really well with the vibrant colors of different scenes like this. Once again, I would argue that it's because of this combination of colors together that actually makes this film really deserving of checking out. The difference in colors can also make like weird things stand out. Like for example, why is there this freaking sumo thing inside this nunnery? I picked this rose scene because I think it's like one of the best examples of what I'm talking about. You can tell how the roses mix in and how it looks super well with all the nuns holding it. And it really gives like a sort of dynamic, beautiful sort of punishment scene, if you will. Obviously, there's like great religious imagery, great religious symbolism in this film, but I honestly didn't really get caught up in that stuff. It wasn't that interesting for me. So I didn't really talk about it or really care about it. So I'm about to wrap up, but I would like to talk about a few more things that did catch my eyes right before I end. First things first, there's this like really nuanced scene about like how a woman has to hold her pee so she doesn't like piss into a Jesus sort of like artifact. Fuck you. I lied. It's a water sport finish. Of course I don't give a shit about it intellectually. In the end, this is a Pinku film. The peeing scene is there because if you have a water sport fetish, I guess this movie is for you now. 
That was like my favorite scene in this film. I don't know, it just gave me the same feelings as Miss 45. With that, this video is about to come to an end. I want to thank you all again for watching. Please, if you like this, please comment below. Give me feedback about this video. Let me know what you think about the movie. I'll see everyone next time. Thank you.